Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Storms, one of nature's fury. With towering waves, fierce winds, and turbulent waters, storms crash into the open sea, taking everything with them. In this battle between man and nature, container ships stand tall as modern marvels of engineering. These mighty ships can withstand wave heights that can reach up to 36 feet. With their robust hulls and expertly designed structures, they navigate treacherous waters, defying nature. The whole of modern container ships is double-bottomed and designed finer compared to other vessels, such as solid bulk and hydrocarbons. It has a low coefficient of buoyancy, ranging from 0.6 to 0.7, this minimizes hull resistance and increases speed to up to around 24 knots. The modern container ship hull was designed to accommodate maximum below deck container capacity. To do so, container ship designers drew an almost rectangular shape hull. a longitudinally framed design with a high midship coefficient, ranging from 0.75 to 0.85. The construction is strengthened with a torsion box and high scantling web sections that create box-like structures at each frame. Every aspect of these gigantic structures is meticulously planned at an early stage. As the design is accomplished, ship designers proceed with its testing before starting construction. Any issues and failure probabilities regarding the design are carefully calculated during this phase. For instance, research institutes such as Marin use modeling techniques to simulate real-life incidents and develop conclusions to improve future designs. In the modeling facility, the researcher recreates actual conditions such as wind currents, wave height, and water depths for precise analysis. While simulating the MCS ZO incident, Marin, the analysis revealed that while container ships are generally stable, certain extreme weather conditions can result in amplified vibrations and high waves, leading to lashing failures, which result in container loss. On the other hand, the University of Iowa has been employing simulation-based design using modeling techniques combined with advanced wave basins that feature a wave maker, a carriage that follows the model ship to take measurements, and years of code experience. Input and data collected over the last years enabled a more sophisticated simulation. Iowa now predicts the required input for rudders and propellers to ensure a specific trajectory. After rigorous testing and approval of the ship design, the construction begins. In the shipyard, everything here is mammoth, just like the ships built here. Shipbuilders start with shaping the structure into sections, where large steel sheets are cut, sized, and shaped under tremendous pressure.
The plates are then welded together to create sub-assemblies, which are assembled into larger assemblies. The sections are then lifted to a dry dock, where they are welded together to create the ship structure and install interior parts. After painting and applying a protective coating, exterior parts like rudders and propellers are created through sand casting. Once formed, these parts are assembled within the ship. The whole process means the ship will succeed in her Alpha Sea Trail and start shipping. In her journey, this container ship will encounter both serene and severe weather conditions. While calm water is easy to sail, rough marine weather requires a combination of advanced technology, sophisticated equipment, and highly trained people. Being aware of the procedures and the steps to tackle emergency situations is crucial for a seafarer. Rigorous training is conducted to ensure everyone knows what to do on board. However, some training, such as navigation, is too critical to be carried out on an actual vessel, and the risk is extreme. Thus, some maritime players, such as ship owners and ports, have developed computer-based simulation centers, also known as marine simulators, to enhance training and safety. Simulators provide a controlled environment for training and testing, allowing crew members to simulate various scenarios and practice response strategies without real-world risks. It is a safe and cost-effective alternative, reducing the need for actual vessels and resources. All the metrics, including weather conditions, sea states, and vessel dynamics are replicated within the system. This provides realistic experiences and comprehensive assessments of vessel performance, crew competency, and emergency procedures. One critical simulation exercise is the rough sea training. In the Full Bridge Mission Simulator, this exercise recreates a challenging work environment. Through simulated scenarios, crews experience the challenges of navigating in turbulent waters. This simulation provides a realistic platform for practicing ship handling techniques, such as maneuvering in high waves and strong winds as well as Bridge Resources Management, or BRM. Through simulated scenarios, crews experience the challenges of navigating large container ships in turbulent waters. They learn to communicate effectively, collaborate, and make critical decisions to reach their intended destination safely. The container ship crew is not the only one who must prepare for this event. Lifeboat crews and salvers must be ready to evacuate individuals and engage in rescue operations when needed.
like the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, also known as RNLI, developed a comprehensive program to train crews to operate these vessels effectively in challenging weather conditions. Training includes a real-life simulation, The crew trains to launch and recover, maneuver in rough seas, and rescue individuals in distress. Crews learn to navigate through towering waves, strong currents, and adverse weather while maintaining safety standards. Today's vessels are equipped with sophisticated weather systems. They use satellites, weather radars, and weather watch boxes to provide situational awareness, therefore preventing maritime accidents. These advanced systems offer real-time meteorological data, including wind speed, wave height, temperature, and barometric pressure. The data is updated every five minutes, enabling the crew to anticipate potential hazards and make informed decisions to ensure the safety of their vessel, crew, and cargo. Weather systems provide early warnings for approaching storms. Accordingly, the crew has to make quick decisions to adjust the vessel routes, alter speeds, or seek safe harbor, minimizing the risk of collisions, groundings, or capsizing. It is a proactive approach that significantly reduces the likelihood of accidents caused by storms. On the other hand, a floating instrument platform, or FLIP, enables enhanced data collection thanks to its unique design that stands out from traditional ships. It is a one-of-a-kind ship that can vertically flip from a horizontal position to a vertical one. With its research facilities remaining upright and about 90% of the hull submerged underwater. This transformative capability allows flip to withstand rough sea conditions while providing a stable platform for scientific research. When in its vertical position, FLIP remains buoyant and uses ballast tanks to maintain stability. Its design ensures minimal disturbance to measurements, making it an invaluable asset for research in turbulent ocean regions. The transformation of weather ships into research vessels, along with the unique capabilities of FLIP, underscores the constant pursuit of scientific knowledge and the quest for understanding the complex dynamics of the maritime environment. This data, combined with innovation in ship design, training, and the integration of advanced technology, means the maritime industry is capable of navigating the unpredictable forces of nature, ensuring the safety of the vessel, the crew, and the billion-dollar cargo. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.